here's the big question. If the group of five has to choose between um, trying to crappily compete with the autonomy five or have their own league and be separated out from the money, I think they're going to choose the first option because, again, a 60% of something is better than 100% of nothing. <laughs> What is up, everybody? It is Jake with Master Football. Back at it again. Happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for being here. Never been here before. This is Jake with Master Football. All things pro football, college football, video game football, anything related to American football. We discuss in the show right now. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, do all that stuff. I'd really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, we have some big questions to answer in this video, but I want to turn it over to my boy Kuz, Justin Walker, for Kuz's Corner. I had an interview with him recently. Um, I'm going to have that chat or that link of the conversation down in this description. But I wanted to preface something that he, preface what we're going to talk about with what he said. Let's get into that. I've been following really close. And I don't know how many I don't know how many college football fans are following this. I think most most of us who are uh, you know really hardcore probably are, but. I don't think the casual football fan realizes August of this year, the entire landscape of college football would change. Mm -hmm. They're going to vote on a new NCAA constitution. Okay. Um, and they are, there's talk that they might be separating the power, the, the, you know, the power fives, mm -hmm. the group of five even further. Yeah. So if that happens and, and that, by adding another division, I mean, so if that happens, uh, that, that, that to me, that's step one of creating super conferences. He is very involved in this. He understands a lot of what's going on here. Big aspect of what he's basically saying, you know, is the fact that it just seems like there's something brewing here. And it's, they're talking about, again, in August of this year, August 2022, there's going to be a new NCAA constitution. Uh, but apparently the AD for Ohio State says, we might not even need that, dude. So here we are with Heather Dinich of ESPN.com. And again, this was posted late tonight. It's going to be posted for you guys uh, last night. But again, it says right here, just throwing out ideas. Ohio State AD Gene Smith proposes FBS leagues operate under umbrella of the college football playoff with their own rules. So basically it comes down here and says in Scottsdale, Arizona, with collegiate landscape in the midst of sweeping changes and uncertainties, Ohio State Athletic Director Gene Smith on Tuesday proposed the 10 FBS conferences operate under the umbrella of the college football playoff with their own rules and structure while the NCAA continues to host championships for basketball and Olympic sports. So for all of your group of five fans out there, okay, remember, think about this. This is the, this is the AD of the highest revenue conference at the highest revenue team in the conference talking about bringing in not only the, the five group of five teams or the power five teams, but bringing up the group of five teams too. That is huge for anybody who is a group of five uh, fan, anybody who is a lower end um, autonomy five fan who is not sure if they're going to be involved in their conference or not. Anybody who wants to keep the current, currently there's 130 FBS schools right now. There are several they're going to be adding on, several coming up from the FCS ranks. But anybody that wants to be in that group is technically according to G, um, Gene Smith, the AD at Ohio State. Remember, Gene Smith, the AD at Ohio State, the biggest league, the highest revenue team, the biggest team in the conference is saying, I want the group of five with the power five and we're going to go from there. And he says, just throwing ideas out there, just throwing ideas. But again, that's where his mind is at right now. So a lot of people have been saying, and again, I actually agree with the logic that, that Justin has right there where it seems like something's happening. But you got to remember here that there, these are big, big moves you have to make. And I mean, especially like just getting an agreement between the college football playoff. You see the fact that the ACC, you see the fact that the, the Big 12, the Pac-12, the Big 10, the SEC, nobody can agree on anything. And it's because everybody has their own kind of idea of what they want to do here. Notre Dame's also a weird one where they're kind of in the ACC and they're kind of not, you know, so it's kind of a weird spot right there. But let's continue with that article. Smith, who said he was just throwing out ideas in a brief interview with ESPN at Big Ten Spring Meeting, said the schools that offer 85 scholarships need different rules. He said they could create the minimum standards for membership. We can create our own rules, create our own governance structure, have our own enforcement, have our own requirements, whatever that might be. 
Smith said, that might be in the medical space, for example, if a student athlete is injured and hurt in his or her senior year, you can take them when they're done when until they're healed and we have the funding in place to do that. You don't touch anything else with the NCA. You keep the academic requirements in place. The reality is those schools who offer 85 scholarships in football have made different commitment and that needs to be addressed. So with something like that, what he's talking about, basically what he's saying is the fact that, uh, I mean, think about this right now, especially with the NIL, the NIL money, the, the revenue from these schools, football just almost seems like it's its own entity. So as long as they are, I mean, some, like I said, academic requirements are still set, but then there's also some sort of requirement in terms of, you know, how we want to handle these situations. What do we want to do with NIL? What do we want to do with um, the transfer portal? Everything like that. Because right now it's basically just the Wild West and in the Wild West, uh, might is right. So those big schools can kind of do what they want. I remember a couple of years ago, Nick Saban was like, are you sure we want just people to be able to uh, transfer willy nilly? And they all thought, oh yeah, yeah. He's nervous about this. He's nervous. No, he wasn't nervous. He was basically saying, you do know that I am Nick Saban. And I can just show up and take your best players, put them on my on my team. You have, you have a all American guy. He's on my team right now. That's just how Nick Saban works. So, I mean, remember, Jameson Williams came over from Ohio State and Jameson Williams was, if he wasn't injured, he might have been the number one receiver taken in the NFL draft this last season. So, uh, it, those, the big schools, the FBS, that just seems to operate differently than compared to everybody else. Remember, FBS and FCS are both considered D1, but the FBS 85 scholarships, even up to Western Kentucky, Georgia State, things like that, they still offer that too. They, the NIL money, the what they have, it's just, it's on another level compared to softball. No offense to softball, okay? No offense to softball, but just on, an, on another level. Smith said he shared his idea with some of his peers and has received mixed reviews. Well, what do you know? The ACC, SEC, Big 12, Pac-12, and the Big 10 all have different requirements and goals. Oh, oh my gosh, no way. But again... <laughs> Right, right now, it's, it's crazy because the Big 12, the NCAA are searching for new leaderships. Um, he said that uh, the FCS championship for college football should remain untouched, but the FBS would follow the same model. He pointed out as the FBS commissioners continue to reconsider the expanded playoff beyond the 2025 season. They're only talking about those 10 leagues and Notre Dame. The CFP model needs to be looked at differently. Smith said, as we consider expansion, we ought to consider the structure. The reality is we need to begin to control our own space. Remember, I mean, this... The money is just so different. We've got to make sure we've, we're have we careful with antitrust, but at the end of the day, we need different rules. And just to make sure that we're clear on how much money football makes compared to everybody else, it is shocking. At the University of Texas, routinely ranked number one on the earnings list, 70% of its athletic revenue is derived from football. 70% of its athletic revenue. So what is that? That is $223 million. Uh, that is one of the $223 million they made, $156 million of it was in football. Too bad they can't win very much. That is insane amounts of money, okay? I mean, especially compared to everybody else. What is that? I mean, what? Uh, <laughs> that is crazy. So what is, let's do this real quick. Two, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six times 0.3. So all the other, other sports, including basketball, make $66 million and football makes way more than that remember and a lot of people are like oh yeah well you know the if they're going to separate uh not be under the ncaa how are they going to do that well remember the ncaa already adopted new division one model giving power five autonomy now you come down here and check out what that basically means it says that it lets the sec acc and big 10 pac 12 and big 12 create their own rules other conferences can adopt them too if they want in certain areas of benefit to the college athletes Leaders of the major conferences say they have the resources to provide more to athletes and have tried for years but get blocked by smaller schools. External pressure by lawsuits and Congress has also forced the issue. So remember, again, this is several years ago that this article came out. So the Power Five is kind of in a weird spot. Gene Smith seems to want to include them into that group. And again, that's just, he said, it's just an idea. You don't really know. Remember, we have to have a majority to be able to agree to this sort of thing. But the smaller schools are like, yo, dude, you got to make it fair for us. Make it fair for us. But man, big bank take little bank, you know what I mean? So here's the big question. If the group of five has to choose between um, trying to crappily compete with the autonomy five or have their own league and be separated out from the money, I think they're going to choose the first option because again, a 60% of something is better than 100% of nothing. And the group of five wants to be associated with the power five. And it sounds like Gene Smith is already kind of thinking of that. They do have to run it by the other leagues, but... That's where we're at right now.
So there it is, guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that the group of five is going to be included with the power of five? There's conversation out there that it is currently happening. How do you guys think that they're going to transition from here? I do think, though, that the NCAA, whatever the NCAA is in their control in football, is going to be let go of. What happens in that scramble there? Is it going to be, is it just going to be the SEC and they add USC, UCLA, uh, Clemson, Florida State, and they say, screw everybody else. They just get to like 25 teams or something like that. Do you think that there's going to be several teams combined? Do you think we're just going to get to a regional situation? What do you guys think is going to happen? Get in the comments and let me know. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am out.